Hi, welcome to the Geek Jabber YouTube channel. My name is Tim. We're back again with the 486 and with our good old favourite Windows for Workgroups 3.11. Now, many of us would be familiar now with tools like Outlook and other equivalent email packages that basically manage our life for us in various forms. A lot of people don't realise this software is actually quite a lot older than uh, than we think. So we're going to have a look at a piece of software called Lotus Organizer. Now I'm going into this for the first time as well because I haven't actually seen this before. I've only just installed it. And it is what is generally classed as a personal information manager. So this is all the sort of stuff that would be tacked onto things like Outlook that would help us manage our day. And this is sort of an older version of it. So it's got a number of different tools from what I can tell. The first thing that strikes me is if you were around in the 80s and knew some sort of executive big boss type person, you'd know they'd have a file of facts. They were fairly common and fairly wanky. This seems to be kind of the same sort of concept. So I've started with what appears to be a calendar. So we can come in here, we can see just double clicking on it seems to have got us different times. So let's create an appointment for tomorrow. Yeah, let's call it 8 o'clock AM for one hour and he might tap in the camera. So I make a YouTube video and it's giving us all these different options that we can categorize with. Um, let's call it an idea. And let's make it confidential, even though the, this is going out on a YouTube video for everyone to see. So you've got your standard calendar entries, but it seems like we've got all sorts of other options that we've got here. So a to-do list. So do something. <laughs> so we've got your usual address book. Again, I won't go sort of into the inner workings of each one. Called. So this would be some sort of call logging thing, I would imagine. So we can create a call. So yeah, for those who want to schedule time to call someone, you can actually uh, do that right here. And a general planner overview. So if you're wanting to look at everything that's coming up over a month, apparently you can do that and a notepad, and this seems to be another variant on a calendar. So one for storing anniversaries. So you've got no excuse to uh, forget your partner's birthday. So yeah, it looks like it's sort of fairly fully featured. And yeah, this could be an interesting piece of software for me to use because this might actually uh, help me plan out some of my stuff. So yeah, this is a bit of a whirlwind tour. We've only sort of covered the basics, but yes, this, uh, this did exist back in the day. So yeah, it's sort of interesting to explore what was available before we had Microsoft Outlook run everything for us. Anyway, I might uh, quickly wrap this video up here. We'll only make this one a fairly short one today. So if you want to subscribe, like, dislike, you know what to do. If you want to join our Discord, website, whatever, links are in the description. As are links you can use to support the channel. And I will see you in the next video.